Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Trade, zone, and rotation is the key to win your lane in the early game. If you decide to trade health with your opponent, it's important that you know who will win in a 1 vs 1. I was trading with Silvana because I know Yuzhong beats her in early game. I was able to poke Silvana enough for her to recall. Because of that, Silvana missed a full minion wave, losing 183 gold, plus I got some gold from the tower plate. Remember, first blood only gives you 200 gold. Now I am 325 gold ahead of her, plus a half level. If you're playing against a hero that hides under the turret, you can deny them gold and XP by zoning them, also called freezing the wave. These heroes are great for zoning, since they can output a big amount of damage without using their ultimate, while they have a way to regain their health. Lane cut is key when it comes to rotating from your lane. Since the minions spawn every 30 seconds, cutting the lane will give you more time to rotate. Here I saw the enemy jungler and mage were in bot lane, therefore I didn't need to help securing the turtle. Instead, I pulled the red buff into the bush, so Martis could steal it, but he didn't come. I simply waited for Benedetta to go for her red buff so I could ambush her. A high cut is when you clear the lane between the inner turret and the inhibitor turret. A high cut gives you even more time to rotate. This is only recommended when the enemies are visible on the other side of the map, since you won't have anywhere to run. These three heroes are great for lane cutting, because they all has dash and wave clear. Looking at your enemy's position on the map, is another way to know when it's a good time to cut your lane. In this clip I didn't pay attention, but still made it out alive because of Cho's skill set. If you're about to cut the lane in early game, but gets caught by the enemy, just leave. There's no need to force it. Huh? Don't be like this guy. When your team is taking the turtle, it is your job to zone away the enemy, provide vision, and if possible stun the enemy jungler. If the enemy is taking the turtle, you need to ask yourself, is this a winnable fight? Is our jungler close by? Always wait for the right moment. If the enemy is invading your side of the map, it is crucial that you provide assistance for your jungler. If you're alone to defend a 4-man gank in mid-game, it's usually better to let them take your turret, instead of dying in the process. Use the scoreboard to determine the battles you win. If your jungler is invading, it's important that you are there to back him up, and zone the enemy away. You don't always have to attack them, just your presence, can be enough to make the enemy take distance. You always want to focus the squishy backline, which is mage, marksman, and sometimes jungler. Boom!
the tank isn't the only one who can start team fights. This is big brain time. This is Sparta! Patience is key, as EXP laner you are more than just a front line, always engage when they least expect it. Here you can see the tank went in, but missed his ultimate, therefore I waited until the time was right. I might have lost my life, but we won the fight, and the game. That's the price you pay as EXP laner. If you're rotating from your lane, but don't see any nearby fights, split pushing undefended turrets is a good way to give your team an advantage. Two hours later. Instead of pushing the same tower as your team, pushing multiple lanes will create more pressure on the enemy. I saw Hilda was pushing the bot lane, while the rest of enemy team were fighting top, therefore I went for a risky play. I pinged my teammates to attack so the enemies couldn't recall and stop me from ending. The mini-map is very important, a good EXP laner looks at the map every 5 seconds. Tell you allies when the enemy EXP is missing, so they know he's coming. Stay hidden in bushes as much as possible, there's a higher chance of getting ganked, if the enemy has vision on you. If someone is pushing your lane, or trying to backdoor, you should be the first to retreat or leave the fight to defend. Accept when you are behind and be humble in your lane, don't trade. Don't take 1v1s and be careful of getting ambushed when you are rotating. Never take jungle creeps before 10 minutes, unless you're invading. You jungler need it more and you only gain 40% of the gold, you are only allowed to take the gold crap. But always leave it for your jungler when he is close by. Make sure to always last hit your minions. Last hitting gives around 40 gold more each wave, in the early game. If you stay in tower range when it's getting destroyed, you will receive a gold bonus. Now we play the waiting game. The Black Dragon has arrived! Hello. It's John Cena! <laughs>